what's up guys and welcome back to another video so in this video i'm just going to be showing you guys how to clean your uh throttle body all right guys so in order for you guys to be able to reach your throttle body as you are where you first do uh we need to take off some plastic panels mine's already actually off so i was uh doing something else to it uh but uh yeah one that long one goes right here and then this one goes on the side right here just take those off so what you want to do next is take off your engine cover as well mine just comes off mine's which doesn't have the clips no more but yeah either way you just pop it up no screws on it and then uh next what you want to do is you want to pop open these tabs for your uh engine air filter He's actually missing one as well. And uh, so there goes your uh, throttle body right there. That's what you want to get to. So you're going to be undoing that and right there. Oh, and uh, that little clip, you just unclip it off the bolt. And yeah, so I'm gonna uh, undo those. You just need a Phillips for that. As you can see right there, Phillips. Phillips. And that literally just comes out. Actually, let me just show you guys real quick. This time, just, you just push it out of the way. And it comes off. So give me a second while I undo those uh, Phillips screws and uh, I'll come back to the video. All right, guys. So I just undid the screws. So they still stay on there. It just uh, loosens the air intake. So after you loosen them, what you want to do is just push it, wiggle it out of the way. Or actually, if you did this, what you want to do is just pull that out and then pretty you can pretty much just set the whole thing to the side kind of all right so there goes my throttle body some people usually don't take off the whole thing what they do is they just uh leave it on there and then just put some in a rag and just clean the outside but I really like to take off everything so um, I'm actually gonna be doing that today I'm gonna be taking off the whole thing so pretty much what we want to do next is disconnect that connector right there this connector right here and we're gonna do be undoing these bolts all four it has two in the top two in the bottom there uh, they should be 10 millimeter usually everything's 10 12 on these cars so all right let me uh get to that real quick all right guys so actually before we uh continue actually you know what we're actually gonna be removing this whole thing just so you know that we won't have anything in the way and you guys could see just slightly more clearly so uh i'm just gonna take this hose off i mean this whole intake off I'm just gonna pull right here real quick should slide right off all right guys oh and uh sorry disconnect your mass airflow just push on the tab and pull it up all right now we can set that to the side and now we have all the clearance what you're gonna want to do is uh disconnect your con uh your connector right here to the throttle body so you're just gonna again push on the tap like you did with the mass airflow and it comes right off you see so now that you have that out of the way you can set that aside next uh so there's a hose right here at the bottom that's actually a coolant hose 
if I'm not mistaken. You should, you'll be fine though taking it off. Just, uh, you will need something to plug it in, preferably, because uh, it might spill some coolant. Normally what I like to use is a, just a regular spark plug, old used, doesn't really matter. That you have, it might have laying around or just anything in general that fits in that hose. So, uh, yeah, you're gonna need a set of pliers. <sighs> Sorry, hold on. You need a set of pliers to get to that. You need to squeeze the clamp and then just pull it out or wiggle it out, preferably, so you won't uh, break anything. All right, so let's get to it. All right, guys, so uh, I was having a bit of trouble uh, you know, taking out this hose. But what I ended up doing was I grabbed a long flathead and I just gently pried it in there at the very edge to the throttle body and the hose and I just started gently wiggling and as you can see the hose is now easily coming off so I just set this to the side I'll pull it out now most of the time you'll actually get a uh, cooling coming out of there i didn't because uh honestly i had actually already pulled it out i just forgot to film it for you guys so i just decided to retrace my steps so i could show you guys but yes after you pull that out now it's just time to undo those uh four bolts as you can see right there two on the top two on the bottom they should be 10 millimeters all right, so I'll get back to you guys as soon as I'm done undoing those. I'm sure if you guys will be able to see it, but in the back right here, uh, this is this little thing right here, this, yeah, that is actually connected to another hose and I didn't realize it, but uh, it's the same thing as this one right here that we took off. Oh, and uh, there you go. So that's what I ended up doing, like I said. I just uh, plugged it with a, with a spark plug so no cooling will come out. But anyway, uh, let me just get to that little hose in the back real quick so we can finally the so we can finally take out the throttle body. It's already pretty much off. I just literally need to take out that hose and that's it. Give me a second. All right, guys. So before I continue, I was actually able to wiggle the the other hose. In, so actually much easier to take off as well just wanted you guys I just wanted you guys to see it real quick so it's pretty much yeah at the bottom left corner of the throttle body all right guys so we were actually able to take it off already that net looking thing that you see right there that's actually the gasket for the throttle body uh, that, that one actually honestly doesn't really look dirty at all looks pretty decent and clean Except for the little top part where you can see it's a little dark. I'm just probably gonna touch that up with a little rag or something. Oh, uh, so this is what the throttle body looks like now. The throttle body. Now that's a different story. It actually, it's actually kind of dirty. Let's see if I can get a better view. Oh, there you go. So you see all that deposit, all those deposits right there. It's pretty dirty. Same as on the inside. Right. So we're just gonna gently set it down. We can't set it down too hard because it is electronic, so it'll mess up the sensor right here. And believe me, you do not want to mess that up. That is very pricey. All right, so for this, now we're actually gonna need the throttle body cleaner. So give me a second, I'll be right back with that. All right guys, so this is exactly what you're gonna need, the throttle plate cleaner or throttle body cleaner. Uh, you don't have to use a OEM Toyota throttle body cleaner. I just, I'm just using this because honestly, like I have a lot of leftovers since I work at for a Toyota dealer. So these come through for me a lot or I have a lot of these left over. But uh, anyway, you could just use any throttle body cleaner from like O'Reilly's AutoZone or whatever auto parts you have just make sure that it is the throttle body cleaner not brake cleaner not mass airflow because you could uh, harm uh, potentially harm your uh, throttle body or the components so uh, yeah let's get to it let's spray this thing 
see how much stuff we can actually get off. I just up on spraying it. See all that black stuff right there? That's all the debris that came out of here. Now, if you guys want to open your butterfly, which is this right here, if you do plan to do it, I suggest that you do it very lightly, like literally just, and actually it's the other way around. But uh, yeah, you very lightly like open it just because it is electronic, so it could potentially harm something if you literally just stick your hand, your fingers through there. Okay, let's do this. Wow! Look at all that stuff. All right guys, so let me just go get a rag real quick so I can clean this up. And I'll come back and show you the uh, the results. All right guys, so uh, as you can see here, I was actually able to get it all clean. No more carbon deposits anywhere. It's super clean now, all around. Other side as well. Actually this side I'm pretty that would help this I came out it came out extremely clean as you guys can see now I did have to open the butterfly just enough so uh, well, how I like to do it is I just like to uh, stick my two of my fingers in there and just uh, hold them there for as long as I'm gonna have the butterfly open so I could get the surrounding area cleaned so yeah guys so uh let's put this back together already pretty much to put it all back together it's gonna be vice versa what we did so first just pretty much put the uh throttle body back in there actually I'm sorry first you got to put the hose the hoses back and then bolt it back on so uh yeah we're gonna do that guys so that's uh pretty much how you uh service your uh throttle body so if you guys uh really like this video don't forget to uh give this video a thumbs up and uh please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i will also be doing some mods in the future so you know really looking forward to those all right, guys, so I'll see you on the next one. All right, guys, so I actually I decided to uh, actually just take off the uh, gasket real quick. All you pretty much do is just pull that out of there. It's like a little O-ring, but it has a gasket, so you just pull it out. You got to be very careful with it, though, because it's actually very delicate. So what I'm going to do is I'll also just spray it real quick. Give me a second, because I cannot leave this on the floor. All right guys, so as you can see, I was actually able to clean most of it. Looks pretty, pretty clean for the most part. Camera's actually not doing it justice, but like I said, it's pretty clean for the most part. You can see it's pretty much all bronze now. All right, let's put it back together.